Right. Good morning, everyone, and can I welcome you all to the third meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, Stuart McMillan has, is unable to attend the meeting this morning and has submitted his apologies. Uh, we're very pleased to have George Adam attending the meeting this morning as a substitute member. Um, and indeed, welcome to all my committee colleagues and thank you for coming today. Um, we move now to agenda item one, which is a decision on taking business in private. And it's proposed that the committee take item five in private. Item five is the consideration of the committee's second quarterly report of the parliamentary year of 2016 and 17. Does the committee agree to take item five in private? Agreed. Thank you very much. Now move to agenda item two, which is instruments subject to negative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Plant Health Import Inspection Fees Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number six, or on Title Conditions Scotland Act 2003 Rural Housing Bodies Amendment Order 2017 SSI 2017 number seven, or on non-domestic rate Scotland Order 2017 SSI 2017 number 8, or on non-domestic rates levying Scotland regulations 2017 SSI 2017 number 9. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you very much. Agenda item three is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Act of Sedarent Rules of the Court of Session 1994, Amendment Leave to Appeal 2017, SSI 2017, number four. Is the committee content with this instrument as well? Content. Thank you so much. Agenda item four is the Scottish Social Housing Charter. Uh, Section 33 of the Housing Scotland Act 2010 provides that the Scottish Social Housing Charter does not have effect unless approved by a resolution of the Parliament. The Committee is therefore considering the Charter in accordance with Rule 10.10 .10 of the Standing Orders in the same way as it would consider an instrument which is subject to affirmative procedure. However, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Charter SG 2017 <coughs> number 2. So, is the committee with, content with this Charter as well? Content. Thank you. And I now move the meeting into private. <laughs>